Hello there Pixel Pushers, it's Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Now we've already looked at creating brushes and we'll be doing some more specific brushes like clouds, grass, leaves, other vegetation, tree bark, anything that can be used in uh, the application of that um, image uh, when you're blending images together to components together from different images so we'll be looking at that next but for now although i have done a, um, a video already and you'll certainly find plenty out there with regards to creating a brush or a brush tip really it's not the brush that you're creating that's a bit of a, a misnomer it's the brush tip that you're cre creating the specific the brush itself is the same no matter what brush you use it's the tip that's different so creating a new brush tip for a signature or a name or a copyright um, or a trademark a, a, a bit of text effectively and we've already gone through that and now this process is exactly the same except we want to be able to get in your signature so your handwritten signature how do we get that into affinity and then export that out as a image so that we can uh, create a brush tip from that and of course i'll be going through each one of those right now okay so here we are uh, we're going to be applying it on this uh, uh, image here as an example but of course first of all we want to get ready and open up a blank um, a new blank file so we just go to new and we don't need a big uh, file at all let's just go for something like a6 make it landscape because a signature tends to lend itself better to landscape although it doesn't really matter for now make sure it's got a transparent background that's important and um, and having it at 300 dpi just means it gives your signature a real good um, resolution even though you probably don't need it at three, 300 dpi for most applications because you can always downscale it within affinity or just reduce the size of the brush uh, tip when you're going to uh, need it or use it so we've got a blank document here and we will be applying it to this image afterwards but let's just start with a blank document okay now I've already gone before uh, through this before is that under the brushes palette on the top right here um, it's always a good idea to have a new category so you just click on those three little bars which is the uh, drop down menu and create new category and by uh, creating a new category and then renaming that category you can have for example like I've done here custom signature brushes or call it whatever you like and then that's your own category uh, go back to more of the video to, to have a look at the back creating that so there's no need to go over that again I've already got that category and that's where I'll be placing this uh, new brush that we're going to create okay so how do we get that signature in of course there's a, a couple of easy ways of doing it you can um, uh, write with a thick felt pen or a very uh, distinct um, uh, dark black pen um, onto ink, an ink pen for example onto a plain sheet of paper and then lay it flat and photograph photograph it of course and once you've photographed it import that into your computer and then uh, open it up in affinity and then the next steps we'll do once we're in affinity would be exactly the same but i actually want to show you a cool way and i'm not sure whether you can do this on the windows platform but certainly in in uh, on the mac os there's a really neat way of doing it and I found it so good that I, I wanted to share it with you. So let's just minimize Affinity Photo for a second and uh, let's open up Preview. So now in, now you're seeing a recording of the whole screen here so don't worry about that. Um, in um, uh, the Mac OS you've got a Preview app that's built into the um, operating system rather built into the machine when you buy it and this preview is actually quite useful obviously it's used to preview files um, so if you don't have any other um, method of opening a file you can open it and preview it using this but what you would need to do is just create uh, a blank white document either in in affinity or in uh, pages or in any other uh, um, uh, word processing software as I've done and I've just given it a title signatures 
and then save that um, use use pages or use um, LibreOffice or Microsoft Word, any 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 word processor. Save it, and then but save it as a PDF. Okay, so if you save it as a PDF, uh, as I've already done, and I've opened this, um, and then you just go and open that document, preview it, just go to File, and um, open. And then go to wherever you've um, saved it, as, as I've done here. Make sure it's the PDF version and not the Word version. I've got a Word version of it. It doesn't work with the Word version. So PDF, and you'd click Open. Okay, so I've already got it open here. Now, if you click on the um, in the in the in the preview app, if you click on the um, the icon that says uh, a markup. So you click show markup toolbar and then you get this toolbar at the bottom. Of course, this only applies to Mac. Um, and then just here, you've got an option to sign. Now, if you click on the little downwards arrow, let me just get rid of that last one that I did earlier just to test it all out. Uh, you normally would be presented with that. Now, that's saying either use the trackpad, because uh, I'm using a, um, a laptop here, but you could have a separate trackpad actually create your signature in here by using the trackpad now that's okay it's not the ideal way of writing out the signature it's better to do it with a pen and pencil a sort of a pen and paper and actually uh, write out your signature which I've done now in advance but the cool thing is you can you say camera so when you press camera then the webcam on here as you can see that's looking at me but if I put up my piece of paper with the signature on it and within a second it just scans it as soon as it gets it in view it scans it and say yeah i'm happy with that um click uh, done and that's it that there it is so that signature is the exact copy a photo of, of if you like just the way you would have imported it in had you taken a photograph of it using the webcam and that's really good quality because if i zoom into that it's actually a vector uh, graphic so you won't lose detail on that at all now of course getting that now into affinity there's a variety of ways you could just save that pdf you could do that uh, and then import it into but then you'd have to do a bit of um, cropping and cutting why not just take this selection um, to uh, uh, save it uh, and then open it in affinity and of course what we can do here in preview if you just go to file and um, we've got an option to to save it of course um, there is another option here we could copy uh, just that part of it there okay but what I want to actually show you is to if we click on save uh, here we could just save that or export uh, export um, as a PDF or export uh, that we could do that but if we just click under file and take screenshot this is all built in uh, take screenshot and we say from selection from window or from entire screen we don't want the entire screen so if we say from selection and then it's automatically converts your cursor your mouse pointer into a selection box and that's it so it's it's already selected that um, and now I want to uh, save that give it a title so if I just go to file save uh, and we'll say um, signature test to just so it doesn't get confused with any other file when I'm going to save it I'm going to save it in documents that's fine um, you save it wherever you want to okay so that's saved now I can minimize this and I can open up um, affinity again okay so we're back to affinity and if I now open up that file so just go to file and open and we go to documents there we go signature test 2 which is what we had that's exactly what we've just created open that up okay so 
that's opened it up as a separate document rather than it being on that uh, o- other document that we created. Now, if it stays like this, we could we could work from here, but I actually want to show you working it on, on, on this other document. So if we just copy that layer, so Command and C or Control and C on a PC, go back to this and paste it. And uh, let's just resize that. Okay, command and zero to uh... now. Of course, that signature is on a white background because it was photographed and it was put into preview, and we don't want that background. There's two ways of removing it. There's a quick way and there's a slightly longer way. I want to show you this slightly longer way first. When you've got that layer selected, if you go to the um, uh, blend options, the little gear icon, and in fact, if you just move. Now, there's more, going to be more about blend options later, but not uh, not right now. So if I just move this right-hand slider all the way down, can you see it's saying that it's going to remove all white colours from that layer? And, of course, the white colour is what we want to remove, and that would be perfect if we did that. But there's actually a faster way of doing that, and that's in Affinity. If you go to Filters and you go down to Colours and then you go down to Erase White Paper. And that's really useful when you're doing a lot of scanning of sketches or drawings um, or even um, any line work and you want to get rid of the white background so you've got that line drawing, uh, particularly in Affinity Designer as well. So that's really useful. So Erase White Paper and that's actually done it and it's converted it to a bitmap which of course is what we want to create our brush now we can create a brush from that now that's a bitmap now because you can see you can see the bit bits but that was fine because we don't uh, we will never use it that big anyway but before i actually export that as a um uh, to, to create a, a brush a bit later on what i want to do is i want to erase out these things here what I want to do is to use the eraser, erase out these rogue bits and pieces, and just tidy it up a bit, which of course I can do quite easily. Not touching the integrity of the signature though. Okay. Uh, but also I want to type some text in. So create a new pixel layer. So we've got the text in a slide on a different layer. Uh, and just pick a, a suitable font. But I'm just going to type in something here. And if we sort of say, and this could be your company, your brand, your uh, an extension of your name, whatever. and uh, And then just resize that. So it's a combination of your signature and some typeface. Okay, you can position that exactly where you want to. Let's say we're going to make that a bit bigger. Actually, I'm going to increase it. And of course, you choose the font that you want. Um, Let's, let's actually choose a slightly different font. Let's call it, uh, let's choose Arial Black actually. And reduce the size of photography. Okay, so I didn't spell that right. So the spell checker has picked that up. That's good. PH, there we go. Photography, that's better. And and let's just resize that now because we've made it into a thicker font. Okay. So we've got a signature and we've got some typography. They're on um, different layers. Okay, let's just, that, that layer's rogue, so we don't need that. Delete that one. And so we've got the signature and then the typography. And if we just group them, so if I just... 
highlight both layers, right click, group. So they're both together now. So if I did want to resize, remove them at this stage, of course they'll group together. Don't need to have it in any particular color. That's perfectly okay. And now of course, what we want to do is export that into a to ready to make a brush. So we just go to file, export. And if you remember from the previous video, what's critical here, we must export it as a PNG, not a JPEG, a PNG, because a PNG file uh, will preserve the alpha channel, the see-through nature of that um, selection. And we don't want the whole document here. Of course, we just want the signature part. Um, okay, so let's just cancel that because I need to select that first. So go to the select, click on it so that, oops, sorry, need to make sure that's selected. So that's selected. You've got the selection box around it. Then when you go to file and export, actually me doing that incorrectly, is, is it, it will be helpful because you now when you say, PNG, we don't want the whole document because it will be too big and the brush won't work properly. So we just want selection uh, selection only. Okay, and then you'll see that the file will become very small. I mean, I can reduce the size of that. I mean, that's way too big, that pixel. So let's just bring it down to, let's say, 600 pixels across. Delete all of that. 600. Okay, that's better. So it's proportional. And um, click export. And then give it the title. So if I just say uh, signature, or no, if we say brand signature, brand signature because the other one was called Signature Brand. We don't want to confuse it. And uh, as I said before, create a separate folder on your computer called Brushes or Brush Tips, uh, and then it will always be saved in there. Now that it's saved in there, let's go to the image we want to use it on, um, on this. Of course, any image will do. And we go to uh, the Brushes palette, and we click on those three bars again for the extra uh, menu to pop up. We don't need to create a new category because we've already got a category. But what we want is a new image brush. We want to create a new image brush. Then it says, well, where is it? And it defaults to the brushes folder because that's the one that I always go to. And once you do it two, three times, it will default to that folder, which is which is really useful. Uh, and of course, there's a, there's a bunch of them in there. And the one that we've just created is called Brand Signature. Okay, so click that and you can see there just about it's my signature plus uh, the typography that we've put in there. And if that's your brand, that's what you're going to sign your pictures with. Then, of course, um, that's what you want to use. Just click open. And now at the moment, it's in the basic brushes section. So we want to move that now. Might as well do it now. So right click it, move brush to different category we want to put it in custom signature brushes which is the category i'd already created so if i go to that category now it will be the very last one so the, that's the one there it says there if i hover over it brand signature you can just about see that if i double click that I'll double tap that on the laptop um, and that allows me now you can't see it there but if you look at it on the right hand side here in the brushes palette as i change the spacing you can now, because we don't want the brush to appear as a, as a traditional brush tip where you're painting with it, we just want to dab with it. So you, you must increase that spacing all the way to the right so that the, each individual brush tip will be the signature that we've created. Okay, click OK. Go to the brushes tool now, the regular brush tool, um, and of course... Um, increase the size of it now the key thing always remember to do this is that yes i could just click on here and it will and it will paste that onto there but it's always a good idea to have a new pixel layer blank so that when you do use the brush let's say we just put it there just dab it once and there it is um or uh, if i wanted it down here i might want it in white of course you can change the color of the brush um, um either now or, or, or afterwards okay so 
we've put it there let's put another one there just to sort of show you it means that when you click on the move tool you're able to oh because they're all on the same layer let me just go back a section shouldn't have done two on the same layer okay when you click on the move tool you can resize that reposition it wherever you want to you know maybe down here changing the color let's just leave it up there but of course what you might want to do is to put a um make that sort of a semi-transparent so of course you just click on that particular layer and just reduce the blend mode uh, sorry reduce the opacity to make it a bit of a watermark um or of course you could uh, give it a gray color if you wanted to uh, you could change the blend modes of it here and that's why having it on its own pixel layer is really useful because one of these other blend modes might be might suit it better okay so that it doesn't stand it might want it to be um, soft light or, or overlay um, and then change the uh, uh, the opacity again okay but we'll leave it at normal for now let's just paint another one this time on another layer different layer and we just increase the size of the brush and let's say we'll put it there okay uh, and of course uh, it's on that separate layer so if i click on the move uh, i'm able to increase or decrease the size of it whatever i want to do okay so i hope you found that useful there's a few steps there and of course if you just sign your signature on a piece of paper and photograph it with your regular mobile phone uh, or camera and import that into affinity you will cut out all those steps that i used the preview uh, app on this uh, mac os but i just found that there's a really neat way of using the webcam holding it in front and um, and that then allows you to um, scan that in essentially or take a photograph of it and it works really really well okay so try that and um, uh, do give us a like if you found the video useful any comments or suggestions would also be useful as i said in the next few days we will be putting out a couple more videos specifically about creating brush tips but these will be all sorts of things like ferns here leaves grass blades of grass um, moss um, leaves um anything really that would help blend in the outdoor uh, photography scene uh twigs branches that kind of thing so you can have an individual brush for each one of those images uh samples and uh, even a whole tree or a small bush or whatever to, to really blend things in and of course you can just dab it and it would uh, it would paint that in for you so same technique different image okay so uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It really helps the channel and uh, gets other people, um, uh, other people are informed about uh, the content we're climbing. So uh, please do that. But otherwise, come back and watch the next ones because there will be more about brushes. Thank you for watching. See you next time.